this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Now have new owners after some of them sat for years in the Tulsa County Sheriff's property room. We first told you last week about the Sheriff's Office's plan to sell them in an auction. New at 10, Fox 23's Mariah Ellis is live outside the Sheriff's Office with how this will save taxpayers money. Mariah. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office said the goal was to not only clear their property room and help keep evidence a little more organized, but it was also about ensuring that all those firearms weren't getting in the, right, the wrong hands. They say that they got the right response after this weekend. Year after year, collecting in this property room. A combination of surplus farms that the sheriff's office already had and forfeiture guns that had been seized as, as evidence or found property over the course of several years. Captain Scott Dean says it was definitely time after going through a lengthy process to gain ownership of multiple firearms. They auctioned hundreds of them over the weekend to federal firearms license holders. Uh, we had uh, uh, several, uh, several bidders from across the state and some from out of state. Dean says as if there was a specific type of firearm businesses were looking for, they had it. Many purchased lots for hundreds of dollars. He says some of them were a little more rare and valuable than others. One of the interesting ones we had was a, uh, a, a World War II uh, rifle from uh, Nazi Germany. It still had some of the Wehrmacht proof marks on it, which is historically significant. And in one day, all 700 of them sold, amounting to more than $129,000. Deputies say it all goes to support the DA's fund and their training budget. All pu uh, public offices are, are, are always trying to maximize their, their budgets, and this definitely gives us a bump that we wouldn't otherwise have had. Now, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office says they definitely plan to have more auctions in the future. Maybe not quite at this size, but they say it's all to keep up with their forfeiture process. Live in downtown Tulsa, covering news that matters, Mariah Ellis, Fox 23 News. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.